Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. In this continuous beam, we are going to find the plastic moment carrying capacity. In this beam, there are three spans span AB, span BC, and span CD. We have different cross sections. For the span AB, the plastic moment carrying capacity is 2 MB. In the span BC, it is 1.5 MB. And finally, in the span CD, it is MB. First, let us take the span AB. In the span AB, we have uniformly distributed load 15 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. In this span, in the fixed end A, there will be a plastic hinge. In the joint B, there will be a plastic hinge. The third plastic hinge will occur under the UDL in the center. Now let us take this span and form the first mechanism. We know that the third hinge will occur in the center of the span. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2. So, delta is equal to 2 theta 1. Due to the symmetrical nature of this triangle, theta 1 will be equal to theta 2. Now, we are going to find the internal work done. We know that for the span AB, the plastic moment capacity is 2 MB and for the span BC, it is 1.5 MB. In the point A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 2 MB with the angle theta 1. Under the load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply 2 MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. In the joint B, we have a plastic hinge. In the joints, we have to be very careful. On the left side, we have 2 MB. On the right side, we have 1.5 MB. We have to always select the smaller value. 1.5 is smaller than 2. So we have to select 1.5 MB and then multiply with the angle theta 2. To get the internal work done, we have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply theta 1. After adding these three, we are getting 7.5 MB theta 1. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the UDL with the area of this triangle. The area of this triangle is half into 4 into delta. For delta, we can apply 2 theta 1. Finally, for the external work done, we are getting 60 theta 1. Now, let us equate the internal work done and the external work done. We can eliminate theta 1. Finally, for MB, we are getting 8 kN meter. Now, let us take the span BC. In the span BC, in the joint B, there will be a plastic hinge. In the joint C also, there will be a plastic hinge. The third plastic hinge can occur under the point load 40 kN or under the point load 50 kN. So, in this span, there will be two mechanisms. Now, we are going to make the second mechanism. In this mechanism, we are assuming that the third plastic hinge occurs under the point load 40 kN. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2. From that, we will get delta, which is equal to 2 theta 1. Now, let us take the right side triangle. In this triangle, theta 2 is equal to 
delta upon 4 for a delta we can apply 2 theta 1 finally for theta 2 we are getting 0 0.5 theta 1 now we are going to find the internal work done we know that for the span BC the plastic movement capacity is 1.5 MB and for the span CD it is MB in the joint B we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1 under the load 40 kN we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2 in the point C we have a plastic hinge on the left side we have 1.5 MB on the right side we have MB we know that we have to select the smaller value MB is smaller so we have to select that and then multiply with the angle theta 2 now we have to add these three for theta 2 we can apply 0 0.5 theta 1 after adding these three we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 4.25 MB theta 1 now we are going to find the external work done for that we have to find the height under the point load 50 kN let us keep this height as a delta 1 let us find delta 1 for the distance of 4 meter the height is delta so for 4 it is delta but we need the height at the distance of 2 meter so we have to multiply this with 2 finally we are getting delta 1 which is equal to 0 0.5 delta now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load 40 kN with the height delta and then we have to multiply the load 50 kN with the height 0 0.5 delta then we have to add both of them after adding we are getting 65 delta for delta we can apply 2 theta 1 finally we are getting the external work done which is equal to 130 theta 1 now let us equate the internal work done and the external work done we can eliminate theta 1 finally for MB we are getting 30.59 kN meter now we are going to make the third mechanism in this mechanism we are going to assume that in the span BC the third plastic hinge occurs under the point load 50 kN let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 1 is equal to delta upon 4 so delta is equal to 4 theta 1 now let us take this triangle in this triangle theta 2 is equal to delta upon 2 for delta we can apply 4 theta 1 finally for theta 2 we are getting 2 theta 1 now let us find the internal work done in the point B we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1 under the load 50 kN we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply 1.5 MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2 in the point C we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2 then we have to add these three for theta 2 we can apply 2 theta 1 after adding these three values we will get the internal work done which is equal to 8 MB theta 1 
Now we are going to find the external work done. For that we have to find the height under the point load 40 kN. Let us keep this height as a delta 1. For the distance of 4 meter, the height is delta. So for 4, it is delta. But we need the height at the distance of 2 meter. So we have to multiply this with 2. When we do that, we will get delta 1, which is equal to 0 0.5 delta. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the load 40 with the height 0 0.5 delta and then we have to multiply the load 50 with the height delta and then we have to add them. After adding, we are getting 70 delta. For delta, we can apply 4 theta 1. Finally, we are getting the external work done which is equal to 280 theta 1. Now let us equate the internal work done and the external work done. We can eliminate theta 1. Finally for MB we are getting 35 kN meter. Now we are going to form the last mechanism in the span CD. In the span CD in the joint C there will be a plastic hinge. Under the load 30 kN, there will be a plastic hinge. In the point D, there will be no plastic hinge because it is a simply supported end. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2. So, delta is equal to 2 theta 1. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle theta 2 is equal to delta upon 3. For delta we can apply 2 theta 1. Finally for theta 2 we are getting 0 0.67 theta 1. Now let us find the internal work done. In the point C we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. Under the load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. Then we have to add both of these. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.67 theta 1. Finally, for the internal work done, we are getting 2.67 MB theta 1. Now let us find the external work done. For that we have to multiply the load 30 kN with the virtual displacement delta. For delta we can apply 2 theta 1. Finally for the external work done we are getting 60 theta 1. Now let us equate the internal work done and the external work done. We can eliminate theta 1. Finally, for MB, we are getting 22.5 kN meter. We have calculated MB four times in the first mechanism, second mechanism, third mechanism, and the fourth mechanism. Out of these four, we have to select the maximum value. 35 kN meter is the maximum value. So we have to select that for MB, the plastic moment capacity of the span AB is 2 MB. So we have to multiply 35 with a true. When we do that, we will get 70 kN meter. The plastic moment capacity for the span BC is 1.5 MB. So we have to multiply 1.5 with a 35. When we do that, we will get 52.5 kN meter. For CD, the plastic moment capacity is MB. So for CD, we have to apply 35. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.